Welcome everyone. So today we're looking at creating an image slider using H5P on WordPress and it's a very simple, very basic image slider with text on hover. You've got arrows to move through the slides. You can also move through the slides by clicking on the dots at the bottom and also you have the option of full screening or viewing the slider in full screen. So I've got one two, three, four, so four pictures and you can see the size of the slider stays the same, doesn't change which is good. You can view it in full screen. Looks good as well. Let's take a look at how we can create this using H5P. Let's get started creating an image slider using H5P on WordPress. So what you want to do is come down to your H5P content and add a new activity. From the module list you want to select the image slider. And if it's not installed click on get to install it and then once you have it, you can click on it to start creating your image slider. So for a title, I'll just call it image slider. And you have your images here. So every image has a title, a place to upload the image, alternative text, and the hover text. And the title is actually just metadata, so it won't show up on the image itself but it's just a way of finding the image and we'll call the first one let's see what images do we have today so we'll call the first one horse I wanna add an image I add my image here alternative text I'll just say horse and the hover text this is a horse then you can add an item that is adding another image you can add as many items as you want so the second the second item I want to add is lake upload the image call it a lake hover text this is a lake so now we have two images let's add a third image third image is grapefruit capital G let's upload grapefruit this is a grapefruit and the last image we're gonna add is for kind of testing purposes I'll call this the mobile I'll add the image and I have an image of a mobile I'll just call it mobile this is a mobile so I have four images now in my slider it's only got one option really to change the setting and that is the aspect ratio and the aspect ratio is basically how the images will be displayed how does it handle the different sizes and the aspect ratio of the images so you can have it as automatic custom or not fixed so let's start with not fixed so basically if you choose not fixed it will maintain the original aspect ratio of the images and it will make the size of the slider based on the aspect ratio. For the override text, it's just basically overriding the default text for like next image, previous image, go to the number of image, you can just change it. Instead, you can just say next or previous. It just overrides the default or you can change the language from this menu. So notice right now we have it as not fixed. So let's go and take a look at what our slider looks like. So that's it. There's nothing else to do with it. I don't want to display the toolbar below my content and we're creating our slider now. 
let's see how it looks okay so here is our slider this is what it looks like the first picture is of a horse we hover on this picture it should say this is a horse if I hover on it this is a horse I go to the next picture this is a lake look at the size it's the same nothing has changed I go to the third picture and I can I can see that the third picture is uh, different the aspect ratio is different so I can see a movement at the bottom here you see the points here for the dots they change their position now if I go to the last picture you'll see the biggest difference I go to the last picture and it's just way longer than the other ones and that is why the whole slider now the whole slider has the aspect ratio of the biggest picture so the picture with the most height and the picture with the most width that will make up the size of the slider this is not very convenient because if I did put this uh, if I put this on the page then I will have this whole white space it will just be white space that I can't put anything in until I get to the last image and that's when it will be filled now if we you can also see that the arrows change their place so it goes up here and then at the end it goes even up higher now if I go and full screen this slider let's take a look at it now so when I full screen the slider there's no change there's just a full screen and all the images are all the images are resized to fit within that full screen which looks a lot better it just looks so this image needs more width to actually fit the screen because of the aspect ratio so it's just filled with black space same with this one same with this and the last one so what I want to do is if you have let's go back to edit if you have pictures with different aspect ratios and you don't like that the slider is resized every time you move from one picture to the next all you have to do is you have to use the automatic option here the automatic option makes it fixed makes the aspect ratios of the slider fixed so this is the side this is the size of the slider and it doesn't change so if you go to the next picture go to the third picture nothing is changed I go to the last picture nothing is changed it's resized to fit within the slider so unless unless all your pictures are the same size and have the same aspect ratio what you want to do is you want to use the automatic option to contain all of your images in the same size slider and you see here the slider never changes never changes size to get this on our website you want to copy the short code and you want to go to either a new post or a new page but we're going to add a new post here add new post all right we'll call this 28 image slider and you want to add a new block and this block should be a short code block short code short code and you want to paste your short code into it and you want to hit publish publish I'm sure and let's view our post to look at our slider okay looks nice so we have our picture here go to the next one go to the third one added some black space top and bottom to fill in the missing uh, space and go to the last one and it filled it with black space here on the left and right to fill in the missing space so we can use these dots in the bottom or we can use the arrows you can full screen it 
So the first two pictures good quality, third picture is stretched because it's a small image and the last picture is squished because it is larger. We escape. That's it. That's an image slider. It's not really an activity but can be used for uh, for presenting pictures or information. It can also be used as a a website slider front page or in an article. Very simple to create, very useful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.